All right, let's get a mad dash in before we bring you an opening bell two minutes from now. Always good to talk about chips. Right. Intel is certainly a laggard or has been for quite right. some time. Now, uh, Carl is talking about what can you fade? Will everything go up? I mean, Intel, the scuttlebutt here is that it's uh, reportedly in talks to be an anchor investor in ARM's upcoming IPO, which is SoftBank. And that's the kind of story that is meaningless. Like an anchor investor? An anchor investor, what, what is an anchor investor? What is this, like some sort of mall? What's an anchor investor? What do you have, like Neiman? No, this is meaningless. And if the stock is up on this, I find that the kind of, that kind of gain right. is as bad as multiple expansion, like an anchor investor. I mean, you don't need an anchor investor in this market after Kava. You don't need an anchor investor. Arm is probably going to come towards the end of the summer, perhaps September, and that is going to be a much more, I would argue, important barometer of health Arm for the IPO. Strike. Arm is an good. enormous, a large company and selling a, a lot company. of stock, and it's a great company. Uh, and it does not need Intel. SoftBank will still investor. control. And Intel's Arm. up on that. I mean, what is that? Uh, I don't. Bolero is an anchor investor. Intel has I mean, a lot is? of plans to spend a lot of money building foundries all over the United States. Well, so you got well, that. They got the. They got the government on their side for certain. Yeah. But I just think that that's not what you should be buying a stock for. That they might be or might not be an anchor investor in a deal that might come soon, might not come soon, by SoftBank for a good uh, Intel, for a good software, software company and a better chip company. Intel, remember, more hardware than that.